We have some pretty interesting developments that are coming from some analysts slash leakers on Twitter. This one is mainly coming from Troy Teslike, which is bringing good news and bad news simultaneously, but there's lots of different ways of interpreting it. So first of all, his source is telling him that China is sending lots amounts of lithium iron phosphate batteries to the United States, specifically for Fremont, in that, of course, you know, iron phosphate batteries are used for standard range Teslas. They have a huge huge share of advantages while the energy density is lower and they take up more space. They are a lot cheaper to build because there's no cobalt in them and they rely a lot more on iron, which is a lot more readily accessible than the nickel that the 2170 batteries or even the 4680 batteries are going to require. And because they have a super duper high cycle life, that means they are less prone to fires. They're incredibly safe. Plus, you can charge them up to 100% regularly, so you don't have to stop at 80% for daily charging. You can just charge up to 100% as much as you want to. So obviously there's a lot of perks and I've been on the record several times saying that I want them to come to the United States. So I'm glad to hear this rumor because it's a step in the right direction. And Troy is basically estimating that the reason they're doing this is because they want to free up 2170 cells for Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. And I know a lot of you are confused when I first say that because we've been told that Giga Texas and Berlin are gonna be using 4680 cells. So why the heck would they need 2170s? Well, technically, at the last Tesla earnings call, Elon Musk did mention that it's a backup plan to actually start with 2170s if there's issues with ramping the 4680, and I think in these types of scenarios, particularly with Tesla, it's probably just best to assume the worst. I'm not saying 4680s are scrapped or they're not going to be using them at all. It just might end up taking longer to scale production of them than Tesla originally thought, right? I don't think it's that crazy to imagine that a production ramp took longer than Tesla anticipated, right? We've seen that happen many times before, and it's totally possible, you know, Troy Tesla believes this as well, that the 4680 ramp is running into problems, and therefore they are going with plan B, which means that Texas will be building non-structural 2170 battery packs, although we should still benefit from up-to-date quality control, next-generation paint shop, single-piece front castings. So far in Fremont, we've only had single-piece rear castings, so so there should be some simplification in production and likely that should be able to scale better even if we are using 2170 cells but because Texas and Berlin are going to take these cells which are already low in supply Fremont is using up as many 2170 cells as possible Tesla is figuring that by sending iron phosphate batteries to Fremont they'll be able to designate more 2170s to go towards Texas and Berlin for this backup plan before 4680s are ready and that of course could result in an overall range range boost in the standard range plus model 3. I know they have a different range estimator in China but the overall battery pack is larger over there and the standard range model Y over in China actually has an even larger pack than the standard range model 3 and that allows them to have an overall greater range. So if they end up bringing back the standard range model Y in the United States with the lithium iron phosphate batteries that could result in a range Elon Musk is personally happy with because of course we had a standard range Model Y earlier in the year and they ended up scrapping that. Elon saying that the range is too low and it doesn't reach their standard of excellence at 244 miles, but if the lithium iron phosphate allows for that range increase, then we could see it well over 250 or 260 miles of range, which is more something Elon is comfortable selling, clearly, because they're still selling the Model 3 with that range. And that's just the setup they have over in China. There's nothing guaranteeing that they're going to have the same type of configurations over here, but if they are shipping a ton of iron phosphate batteries it makes sense to sell them in very profitable volume especially with model y because i believe the margins on that one to be a lot better given the simplified manufacturing process of course the gigapress technology that was implemented there and it's being built with the rear piece castings in fremont so of course some people were speculating iron phosphate cells maybe they're doing it just for tesla powerwall and mega pack but personally i think that the cars themselves are more profitable so that's likely what they want to prioritize and of course to have a big push in deliveries towards the end of the year it would help to have a lower price model y and then we'd have lots of 2170 cells that are no longer going into standard range teslas and can now be designated for texas production and berlin production so it's a sound theory you know troy has not gotten everything right in the past but i think the logic makes sense especially if they're able to build iron phosphate batteries at rapid scale over in china of course lots of companies build things 
things in China and then ship them where they need to be because it's so much cheaper. I don't see why the battery situation needs to be that different with cars. So I actually really, really hope this ends up being true. Troy is suggesting that this is going to start sometime in October. If it does actually start happening, we should expect a slight, maybe hardly noticeable range boost with the standard range plus Model 3. And then maybe we'll start noticing if people take delivery of those vehicles and they can look within the app and notice that they can charge to 100% every day. And of course, it would definitely become very obvious if Tesla ends up bringing back the standard range Model Y. And this time, its range is well over 250 miles. Troy was suggesting that because the standard range Model Y battery in China is 12% larger than the standard range Model 3, they're doing the same thing here. That would result in like a 280 or 290 mile range for the standard range model. But I personally think that sounds like way too good a deal. Like so many people would be buying that, but I guess maybe that's what Tesla wants because iron phosphate batteries are way cheaper to make and the margins on these vehicles would be pretty thick. A lot of people would be buying them. And then Texas can ramp up production with 2170, same with Berlin. And hopefully, of course, 4680s can be prioritized too and they can figure out how to switch over to those with the structural pack ASAP because they're gonna have great cycle life and great energy density, but probably just safe to assume things aren't going as according to schedule and that's okay because Tesla wants to make sure these batteries are safe and reliable and we already have tested and proven production success with iron phosphate so we might as well bring that over here if there's an excess of it over in China but I'm curious what you guys think of all of these rumors does it make sense to you guys to bring iron phosphate over to the US or do you think 4680s are totally ready and this is all made up feel free to let me know thank you all for watching hope you have an excellent rest of your day take care